Good morning. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the new Icon XD 52 from Aaron's. Uh, this is part of a complete line of zero turns that Aaron's has introduced here. So let's get started. Down in the dirt. All right, let's talk about this mower and how it fits into the Aaron's lineup first. Then we'll go around the machine and look at all the individual components on it. The next video, I will do some mowing with it. So this video is just a walk around review and we'll get into all the details of it. Aaron's currently makes four different lines of mowers. They make the Aaron's Edge line which is one of the best entry-level mowers on the market right now. I have another video of that. Then they have the XD, which is the one we're going to look at here today. The XD is a nice solid step up. If you've got up to three acres of lawn and you like to keep it well mowed, this line is good. You probably can mow five acres with it. Um, but if you do have five acres and... Uh, you want a mower that's going to last you 20 years or so, move up to the next one, which is the Aaron's Apex. Finally, Aaron's has a, a commercial line that uh, also works really well for the homeowner, and that's called the Zenith. And the Zenith line is if you're mowing multiple lawns, if you've got five, 10 acres of lawn to mow, if your lawn is rough, uh, and uh, or you just want a good heavy duty mower, the Zenith is uh, an excellent choice. Otherwise, the Apex is a good heavy duty machine for most owners with homeowners in that uh, five acre range. The XD here is good for three acres, five acres if, you, if you're nice with the machine. And of course, uh, you can mow much less than that if you want to. You can get this, the Aaron's Icon, with three different decks, a 42-inch fabricated, this 52-inch fabricated, and a 60 fabricated. It has three different engines. It has a, either a Kohler 7000 series, or you can get, um, on the 42-inch, you can get a 600cc Kawasaki, or on the 52 and the 60-inch, you can get the 691V. So this model here has the Kawasaki engine on it. Um, to be truthful, it doesn't matter to me if it has a Kawasaki or the Kohler. Um, if you've read enough of my writing over in today's more, you'll, say, you'll see that I always say, don't pay extra for a Kawasaki because the Kohler is also a very good engine. So it's your choice. Um, Kawasaki is probably going to be the more popular machine here with the Aaron's lineup. So that's why I ordered this one with the Kawasaki engine in it. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about the front end. Like the Edge, the Aaron's has a interesting front caster to it. It's very heavy. Looks like almost, not quite quarter inch steel, it's well over an eighth of an inch. Plus it's gusseted, so it's nice and strong. And it's got a little roundedness here to it to give it a little extra strength. The ones that are square across and then bent tend to break right in here. It does have sealed ball bearings in the casters, but greased wheels. So you will have to grease these front wheels periodically. The tire is not as wide as some of the others, but the tire is uh, smooth. And the way this machine is weighted, there's not a whole lot of weight on the front end. So it, uh, so it won't dig in for you. The Aaron's does have a front bumper on here. And that's this piece here. And that's designed to 
protect the machine if you run into something. Uh, you won't bend the frame near as quickly because you'll, this will act as a shock absorber. The arms here are bolted on, so if you ever do break one, they're easy to replace. They're not aluminum, they're welded steel, so they're plenty strong. I like this system a lot. Just like on the Toro, they can change these out for the wider, shorter, wider decks, so they only need to build one frame for all the machines. But also it's nice for you because if you do bend one, all you have to do is just a few bolts to replace it. Any questions? Feel free to uh, ask any questions in the comment section below. If you hear some whining, it's my dog. She's not happy that she's tied up out here. Now uh, let's talk about the deck. One thing I like about the Aaron's decks is they put the overhang of the deck all to the left side and the right side is pretty much even with the tires. It's What's really nice about this is that way you can edge right up to a structure. You can go around trees easier. Uh, you're not running into the tree roots with your rear tires near as much. Uh, basically you get a zero zero trimming area on just about anything that you mow around. This deck is 11 gauge. A commercial grade deck, an entry level commercial grade deck is 10 gauge and a commercial deck is usually 7 gauge. Uh, what's the difference between this 11 gauge and 10 gauge? Well, it's 0 0.014 nine inches. So a, a hundredth of an inch difference in the thickness. So what you get here is you get a very strong deck. In other words, in my opinion, there's no real difference in strength between a 10 gauge and 11 gauge deck. The 11 gauge deck just saves you a few pounds in the overall weight of the machine. So don't be fooled by well, mine's better because it's 10 gauge or anything like that. The difference is only one hundredth of a thousandth of an inch in thickness. If you've been out doing your research this year, you know that just about all of the other manufacturers um, in the uh, residential space use a three-point hanging system for the deck. Well, Aaron uses a four-point. And what a four point does for you is it keeps the deck from wobbling up and down if it's really rough out. And there is a little give to this, and that give is nicer if, you're, if you hit something, run over a tree root. But if you notice, it doesn't dig all the way down to the ground like the typical three point decks does. Aaron's lift system is also heavy duty, uh, bars, rods, they have bolts instead of chains. The deck handle hangers are all fully welded to the deck in multiple places. Uh, it's not quite a continuous weld, but it is a good weld. There's also little holes for debris and water and stuff to, to leave those areas so they don't sit there and rust and peel your paint off for you. Uh, they do have, they're not just a simple little hanger. They have reinforcements here on the back that uh, give these hangers extra strength so they won't vibrate over the years and crack. We have a, we we're having a lot of problems this year with uh, deck hangers, uh, especially with some of the other brands with the stamp decks. They, uh, the hangers are just falling off. The welds aren't, aren't holding on them. So you'll never have to worry about these hangers breaking off your deck. I can see that right now. Aaron's does have uh, plastic covers over the outer pulleys on the deck. Uh, this deck is a three-bladed deck. Just so you know, the 42 is a two-bladed and the 60 is a three-bladed also. So they have these poly covers over the pulleys and they're easy to remove. Just three bolts if you want to get in there and do a thorough cleaning in the fall that type of stuff. The uh, discharge cover 
The safety discharge cover is also a poly. It's not a rubber, but uh, it looks like it's going to hold up well. Uh, I don't expect that to break as easily as some of the other brands. Let's take a look at the deck lift system. The deck lift system on the Aaron's Icon is pretty unique. Um, I like it. It's very easy to use. Um, even a very small person can use this deck lift system because there's no levers to lift. All you have to do is push your, put your foot on this, push down, and then adjust the dial to where you want your deck height. So there's 13 positions on the deck height. Because of the 13 different settings and how easy it is to adjust, you can easily do multiple heights when mowing your lawn. Say you want to mow your area around your house shorter, but you've got a field that you want to mow longer, it's real easy to adjust the height. Just step on the pedal here, and while you're holding the deck, adjust the height here, and let go, and it's ready to go. Oh, I still have the plastic covers on the decals. Isn't that cool? So let's move on around the machine. We've talked about the deck a little. We've talked about the deck height. I suppose you want to see down underneath. All right, looking under the deck, you can see that the deck is nice and clean underneath. Uh, there's not a lot of things to catch the grass. The spindles all have reinforcing plates underneath them and they are sealed spindles, so you don't have to worry about greasing them from the top and or the bottom. The back of the deck has wind areas for it to get the grass cut, get it whipped around, and then out the front of the deck. Again, like the edge, it has the little panel here to help the grass get thrown out of the deck instead of wrapping back around like some of the other brands do. Uh, this edge right here is also bent over as a reinforcement and that also helps keep the grass moving out of the deck quickly. So besides the quarter inch reinforcement that's welded around the outside of the deck, there's also a nice lip here that uh, looks like it's at least one inches. Uh, to help reinforce that front of that deck so that deck doesn't cave in when you hit stuff. I haven't talked to Aaron's about what this bracket is for here. Every time I touch my camera, it bounces. Did it again. I haven't talked to Aaron's about what that bracket is for, but I'm going to guess that that is part of the mounting bracket for the bagger system, if you want to put a bagger on here. This doesn't have the removable plate along the edge here, like some of the other brands. It's got a reinforcement here to keep this all nice and stiff. When you go to put your bagger on, all you have to do is remove these two bolts here. The side discharge comes off and then it mounts right to this edge. One of the advantages of this is if you don't have this, this cover on, the blade's not exposed and I know there's going to be some times when you pull the bagger off and you just want to do a little side discharging and this uh, keeps it from keeps the debris from flying up and hitting you or throwing a softball a couple hundred feet so different design is it better or worse don't know and while I'm here you can see that quarter inch reinforcement all the way around the deck and uh, can all, it's also used as a wear edge so you can get up close to things um, goes all the way around the deck all right so let's talk about the steering levers on this a little bit steering levers on this are cast aluminum they're nice and heavy they have an adjustment here so that you can adjust them close together or far apart if you want them. Some people like their handles out here. Some people like them right next to each other. Also, they have a fore and aft adjustment right here 
and a height adjustment. So if you're real short, real small, you can drop these down, down to about here, so they're easier to use. Some people also like to drop them down there because that way you can rest your arms on the armrests easier. They do have shock damp, they do have hydraulic dampeners in them, so when you move them forward, uh, they won't move forward for me right now. Got the parking brake on. Okay, so when so when you do move them forward, they have uh, they don't have a lot of tension on them. So that way, when you're mowing, you don't have a lot of pressure on these levers, which helps keep your shoulders from getting sore. Also, it makes the machine smoother to use. I've talked about dampeners considerably in some of the other videos. One of the things that I really, really like about this machine is that these arms only come up to here. On one of the other machines that we tested this year, these arms come all the way up here. And I like, when I sit on this machine, I like to spread my legs open. And on that other machine, these bars would get in the way and they would be aggravating. This one, the bar, the lap bars are set out just a little bit further and they don't get in your way at all. Uh, they're real smooth to use. And I like these a lot. This one uses a mechanical parking brake. Uh, and on some of the other brands, you have an electric parking brake. Mechanical brake is nice because it just works. It has to be engaged to start the machine. And then where you're sitting on the seat, it's easy to reach down and disengage it. The other brands with the electric ones are nice because you just throw your lap bars open. But if they do go bad, uh, that's $150 to replace that electric module there that sets your brakes. And I have them, had them go bad on my uh, machines. In fact, I had three go bad in four years. But that's another story. All right, so let's open this up and take a look inside. Nice cup holder with a spot for your handle. Uh, you can hold a regular pop can or a Yeti or something like this thermos without any problems. Nice little area here if you want to set your phone in it. It's nice and deep so it won't bounce off. The gas tank filler is out here on the outside edge. It is tied so you don't have to lose it. And as you can see, it's completely away from the rest of the machine so that if you do spill, it drips off. Tires, rear tires on this are nice and wide. They're fairly flat across the top, so they'll turn without, scra without tearing up your turf. And they are 20 inch. That's one of the things that I really like about Aaron's this year is they put 20 inch tall tires on the edge and this machine. I know 18 or 20 inches doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, a 20 inch tire gives you a lot better traction than the 18 inch. And I'm gonna show you how much traction this one does have in the mowing video. All right, some of you are going to like the styling of this mower. Some of you aren't, that's, it. that's up to you. So it's got this roll bar, it does have a plastic fender on it. So if you hit something, it's gonna bend, it's going to bounce back into shape. The rear end is a, oh, I scratched it a little bit. That's, no, well, first scratch is always the worst, right? Okay, it does have a decorative cowl around the back here. Uh, makes it look good, gives a little protection if you're backing into trees and shrubs and stuff like that. Uh, this here also is uh, decorative but it is made all made out of metal so you can back into stuff and it'll help protect the engine the frame is two by four tube up front and the rear back here on the back edge is a two by four channel 
So it's a much heavier frame than what you get on the edge. And this is also a heavier frame than what you get on most of the other machines. So this is a good step up and particularly for just a few hundred dollars more uh, than the economy models, you get a lot of, you get a lot more machine with this one. Um, I like this quite a bit. I did have the rear hitch installed on this one and they've got a hole here and inside this goes in about this far. There's another hole here. Um, I didn't ask Aaron's if they had any accessories for this but I can see them coming out with a line of accessories like a, a little box to throw debris in or a sprayer mount or something like that. I did check this and it's an inch and a half, so I can use 80-20 erector set to uh, make anything I want. Um, I like this feature of having an option here to be able to mount stuff on the back later on. The muffler is on, as on all of them, is right down here. There is a guard down on the bottom to put the, push the exhaust sideways. So it, this machine won't burn your lawn like some of the other machines are doing. The Aaron's Icon XD series uses the ZT2200 or EZT drives. Uh, I think these are sized very appropriately for this machine. EZT drives are rated for up to a thousand pounds. They have one inch axles on them and uh, this machine with you on it is well less than a thousand pounds so you're good. If you do want heavier drives and you like this machine, Gravely does make one with the 2800 drives in it. If you're one of the one of the many here who are just a little bit cautious with the 20 with the easy T drives. Uh, you can get this in a gravely with the larger drives. Other than that, the machine is the same. It's just painted red, just so you know. All right, you can see the belt pulley uh, for the deck belt. Up above that is the belt drive for the transmissions, and that's all very easy to work on. Uh, it's easy to take the belt off and put it back on for the deck. And it's not too big of a job to put uh, a new belt on for the transmissions. By the way, Aaron's does have videos on YouTube. Uh, just go to the Aaron's channel. For all this common maintenance that you may run across, um, if you don't mind working on the machine, um, you can do just about all of it yourself. You can change the belts. You can change the spindles. They show you how to put the mulch kit, uh, the bolt-in mulch kit into the deck. Uh, change the oil um, They have a lot of videos for this machine Okay, any questions on the drives again? Uh, feel free to ask in the comments. I Don't have any issues at all and the dealers that I know who have sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of machines Actually say they have almost no problems with the the ZT 2200 drives unless you're running big steep hills or trying to pull heavy loads this uh this transmission is going to last you all right moving on by the way i didn't cover it when i was looking at the lap bars but as you probably know this has two transmissions in it and over time one transmission will wear more than the other well aaron's has integrated a track adjustment into the handles so over time one one transmission will wear more than the other and you find yourself pushing one handle further than the other to get it to go straight. That's kind of aggravating. Um, and a lot of people think there's something wrong. But it's actually just a track adjustment. And Aaron's does have an easy to use track adjustment for both handles. So you can uh, line your handles back up again if, these, if your transmissions wear differently. All right, looking down behind the bumper, between the bumper and the engine. Both the choke and throttle controls are easy to get at here, easy to adjust. This does not have the automatic choke or the choke where you have to push the throttle all the way forward. So this is not gonna give you the starting problems that some of those have. 
I, over the years, I, especially on lawn tractors where you push the throttle all the way up to set the choke for the engine, that adjustment is not always right coming out of the factory, so the machines won't start for them. All it is is a simple adjustment here, but you don't know what you don't know. As you can see, this is nice and clean here. The uh, air cleaner is easy to get at on both the Kawasaki and the uh, Kohler engines. They're not putting pre-cleaners, that foam piece on these air cleaners much anymore because there's a lot more airflow in here than what there used to be. It's not quite as closed up. So the air keeps moving and keeps the dust off of this a lot better than what they used to. Now let's look inside under the seat. It's easy to check your oil with the seat uh, in its normal position. All you have to do is reach down in here and pull it out. When you open the seat up, it's a lot easier. The oil drain is down here on the bottom. And some people complain about this oil drain. On this particular machine with the Kawasaki, it's pretty easy to get at down here. This is nice and open. And the little hose that they supply you will allow the oil to drain off very easily. It's a little simpler than uh, some of the other ones that I've seen. Oil filter is also right here so you can get at it. Gas filter is right here. Very easy to get to. Starter solenoid. Fuses. Battery. Aaron's has gone to a different style battery uh, than what you're used to. Uh, this is a, um, a higher quality battery than the ones that uh, we've been putting in lawn tractors and zero turns for years. So this is going to last you a little bit longer. If you notice the terminals are on all both on the same side. The battery compartment is large enough that you can put the conventional battery in it later on. You know, conventional batteries are only 30 bucks. Uh, this one is probably double that. Uh, if you have to replace it, but I expect this one will last many times longer than those those cheap lead acid batteries. I don't know about you, but I can't seem to get more than two years out of these uh, lead acid, what I call farm store batteries anymore. They just don't just don't last. Uh, I didn't check to see how big the gas tank is, but it is bigger than the two and a half gallon that's in the uh, edge probably three and a half gallon um, and it's easy to see um, you can check your fuel, your gas level see how much gas is in it this one as you can see is almost full oh, I don't have to buy gas to uh, do my mowing tomorrow that's nice the springs for the seat are oh, about three inches a little bit longer than normal and they're nice and big around and heavy duty so even big guys like me, you do get some, some suspension out of them. Let's take a look at the seat adjustments. Now, I want to talk about one thing. If you buy this from Lowe's, before you climb on it, make for sure that the seat is in the proper position. When it's shipped to Lowe's and the kit and the store employees unpack it, the seat, these bolts here, are in this position. And what that is is that pushes the seat back right on top of the motor almost. What that does is that makes the box a little bit smaller for shipping, so you can save some save some space. But we're finding out that most of the employees don't read the assembly instructions and they're not moving it back here to where it belongs. This has a slot in it here so you do have some seat adjustment in it so you can move your seat forward and backwards. If you don't do that you're going to bust the housing on your motor. So before you jump on it to check it out before you start it make sure that your seat is in the proper position. Uh, that's the only thing that I've know that I've heard so far uh, with selling these mowers at uh, Lowe's. By the way, if you have any problems with your new machine that you bought at Lowe's, don't 
go back to Lowe's and expect them to service it. Their job is to sell it to you. Aaron's, your local Aaron's dealer is the guy to talk to. Tell them you bought it at Lowe's, that's okay. Uh, the Aaron's dealers don't have a problem with that. They will take care of your warranty work for you. And they will also do your, be glad to do your normal maintenance. If you don't feel like changing the belts or the blades or oil or anything like that, you know, for a fee, they will be glad to take care of that for you. Also, they can get the uh, mulch kits and the rear bumper faster than what you can through Lowe's. And again, for a fee, they'll be glad to install them for you. Um, my local dealer didn't charge me anything to install this bumper uh, when I picked this mower up. So, yeah, that's one major thing that I like about Aaron's is that no matter where you bought it, an Aaron's dealer will take care of you. I'm not going to get into whining about some of the other dealers this year. I'll leave that up to you guys. Well, it's actually getting pretty hot out here today. Uh, 92, I think it's supposed to get up to 96. So, got one more section to cover on this and then we're done. So, let's talk about the dash. Yes, you have to buy a rear hitch if you want one. But, it comes standard with an hour meter. Rear hitch is 40 bucks, I think. Most of these hour meters, the proper ones for the wiring harnesses are 50 to 60 to 70 dollars. So, six to one, half a dozen the other. Dash is nice and clean, does have a throttle, has your choke for your starting, has the key switch out of the way so that you don't hit it with your butt when you're mowing, so you won't break your key off. Uh, Orturga clutch, electric clutch for the deck, so start it. To, Put the deck on, you just pull it out, stop it, you just slam it with your hand. This is your deck adjustment. Again, to adjust the deck, all you have to do is put your, put your foot on the big foot pedal and then dial this to where the height that you want. Pretty simple. Parking brake, um, can we see the parking brake? I guess we can. Parking brake also is... Uh, Nice and high, so it's really easy to use for us old and stiff people. Don't have to worry about uh, having to reach down or actually get off the machine to engage the parking brake. All right, I think I've covered the entire machine. If there's any spot I missed, go ahead and ask in the comments section below. If you have any questions about this uh, mower, again, feel free to ask questions in the comment below. I like this machine a lot. I'm not going to tell you it's the best machine on the market, but uh, I will tell you that uh, I'm so far I'm very happy with how it's built. Or I'll mow tomorrow with it and we'll see, uh, see how well it cuts. By the way, I bought a new trailer to uh, haul my stuff around the country on. If you want me to review this new Nova trailer that I purchased, I'll be glad to do that too. So, any questions, comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please like it. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye. Down in the dirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.